Now we need to make sure that our drain connector is associated to the correct parameter and is readable by our smart storm drain system. So for that, we need a couple of things. First, we need to set this flow configuration to preset because we're going to be inputting that number, right? That's manual input. Flow direction is going to be out because that's coming out of the family. Loss method, it, you can keep it as not defined or a K, it doesn't matter, you're not going to be calculating that anyway. System classification, instead of hydronic supply, you want this in hydronic return because this is coming outside of the family, right? And finally, we want to associate this flow, the mechanical flow, to our newly created parameter, AJS Storm Flow GPM. Notice that it did inherit the 57.2 GPM, right? So let's go back to our family types and run another test, let's say 2000, and this is uh, 400. Click OK. I click on my connector. And now I have 114 GPM. So this is working like a charm. We're good with our roof drain so far. Let's save. 